Ooh, welcome back everyone to Wayne Valley Arena and we have a great one today as we have the Wayne Valley Indians taking on West Morris Central Wolfpack. Will, what are you looking forward to in this matchup? Well, we got a great matchup here. The Wayne Valley Indians are 12 and 2 coming into this game. So we'll see how they do today. I'm not sure about West Morris Central. This should be an exciting game today. Some nice plays here. Going to have a great time. Should be fun, Will. Looking forward to it. We are going to start momentarily. So, Will, how's the season going this year for Wayne Valley? You mentioned they were 12 and 2. But oh, yeah, they're doing some great. Key they're doing great with 12 and 2. You know, got a lot of kills, a lot of digs, a lot of spikes, all the good things. You know, they got them all. They're doing great. They're doing great. All right, Will. Yeah. It looks like the players are ready, the refs are ready, we are ready, and let's go as the opening whistle is sounded. Serves the ball over. That's going to be bumped up twice. Spiked over. The setter is going to set it back. A nice bump right there. Set back over the net. Couple of bumps. Going far side. Blocked. And that is going to be a point for the Wayne Valley Indians. That wow. is a point for the Wayne Valley Indians. That was blocked by Brianna Neary, the senior at Wayne Valley. Beautiful play there. Saw the ball coming and just blocked it. Got it down. And that's going to be a point for Wayne Valley. Great job out of her. As Valley takes the early lead, 1-0. Ball served up. It's going to be spiked back over the net. Set, bump, exactly how they drew it up. That wow. ball is in, and that's going to be a point for Wayne Valley as they per jump out to the early 2-0 lead. Perfect spike for Wayne Valley, just inbounds on the court here. Beautiful play for the Indians, and the ball is going to go right back to Amanda Galenkamp for the, for the serve. She's been great all year serving well. She's a senior, been trained in this program, and looks great so far. Oh, yeah, for sure. That ball is bumped and then set. A little, a small little ball. She didn't hit it hard there, Will. She went with the art of deception, and it seemed yeah. to work. West Mars went with the finesse play, and it, it tricked Valley just enough so they could get the point, and the serve goes back to them. As you know, in high school rules, you do not have to have the serving ball to get a point, so it is now 2-1. to one. Valley is winning. <laughs> Ball is served. <laughs> he bumped. Then set by number 11. And that is going to be a point for Wayne Valley as they are jumping out to a big lead right now. They are having great success right now. <laughs> great job. <laughs> great job so far by Wayne Valley as they are winning 3 to 1. <laughs> the ball is served. <laughs> Setter sets it up. Back bump. Goes for the spike and is denied at the net. I saw number 22 and number 17 right there. At the net, waiting to block that. Great job for them. This brings it to 4-1 Wayne Valley. Beautiful job so far. See how this continues. Ball is going to be served. Goes a little short. The setter gets it. Zen set. Going to have to be spiked from a little deeper than they would have wanted, Will. Setter sets it, and Valley now has to spike take it from deep. And that is a great hit right there. Wow, the setter for Westmore Central dove, but could not get there. Beautiful placement right there. Yeah, by these Valley precision Indians. plays by Valley here are really getting them through this first round here. You know, Westmore Central just doesn't have the time to react. They have some beautiful spikes here, and that's what's getting them through this game with the huge lead, 5-1. to one. Coach Jason Karsich did a great job with this Wayne Valley team. That ball was just out there, so that's going to be a point for West Mars Central. Actually, Will, the other referee overruled, and it is a point wow, for Wayne right. Valley. From here, it did look it out, did. but they call it in, all and right. that is going to be an ace for Wayne Valley. Controversial call, but goes back to Valley. Ball is set. The setter is going to hit it. This seems like in great position for West Morris. And that is a good ball right there by West Morris. Yeah, nice job to find the opening. Beautiful shot right into the Wayne corner. Wayne Valley not worried about it, though, as they have a big lead early. Yeah, that's going to bring it to 6-2. Valley still has the huge lead here, but West Morris Central coming back with a chance. Here we have the serve coming up by number two, West Morris. She serves it, goes back to Valley with the set. Oh, there's the set, and the spike comes in. They're able to return that. West Morris hits it back over. Beautiful dig there for Wayne Valley. What a job. And the, the, the hit over to the other side, and it looks like West Morris is going to keep it up here. Sends it back over to Valley's side, a beautiful save again. And Valley's going to try to spike here. Oh, and they block it, but they save it. What a block right yeah. there by West Morris. Beautiful Valley play. goes for the block. Oh, they dive. They dive again. See if they can keep this up here. The ball oh, over. my God. What a play, man. Will, I've not what seen this kind of a rally in a while. Wow. This is a crazy volley here. Great I don't communication know which team is by both sides. This. Oh, my God. 
These are some beautiful digs and saves by both teams here. <laughs> they are killing it, quite literally. Valley's gonna set up well. It's gonna oh, be a little hit, and, and Wayne Valley, Valley will get the point. The little, what a rally the little, there for Wayne yeah, Valley. Beautiful volley. Ends it with the little finesse play by Valley, and that's gonna give them the point, bringing it seven to two. People don't always realize the stamina required. Well, yeah, they're going back really and forth. So they're going back and forth so much. This is this is a hard sport. Here we see the Indians with the serve again. West Morris Central going to take it, looking to spike it over. Oh, oh. and it, it touches the hand of number 22 for Wayne Valley, and that's going to go out, Great making hit. bringing that three for West Morris Central. Both West Morris Central and Valley making substitutions right now, as two people have come on for each side. We'll have to see how that impacts the game. Will. Uh huh. Coach Number one's going to serve it, the setter. That ball is going to be set and then bump. Alicia Rodick looking for the spike. She does spike it. Nice bump right there by number three, who then spikes the ball back over on Valley's side. They get it. The set's there. Good job by Wes Morris to return it. They decide not to go with the spike there as they just set it over the net. Here comes the spike by Molly McAtee, and it is a good one. What a hard spike wow. there, though. Yeah, a little bit of miscoordination on Wes Morris' side, but. Beautiful, beautiful dig there for them, but I mean, they just couldn't follow it up. It, it was a hard spike. What are you going to do? By the way, I think you can call it up. Valley making more substitutions as number one and number 14 comes on. Number one will serve for the Indians. And it is a beautiful serve. Returned by West Morris. They're setting up the spike. It is blocked at the net and then returned into no man's land. Wow. We're, we are seeing some incredible plays out of both teams during this game. It's interesting to see how this will pan out. Now, keep in mind, Valley is still leading this 8-4. to four, But, you know, they are both playing an incredible game. Great that. job there on the fly, Will. That was on the fly thinking. Yeah. That was a wonderful play by both sides. Westmore Central, number 13, is going to be Alicia Rodick for the spike. And a great job, great dig right there. Mara Central didn't look great on that last spike as they seemed a little far back behind it. She goes for the little so I can dive. What a play by West Morris Central. The center's going to set it for Valley, and they're set up beautifully. Here comes Alicia Rodick with the spike. She does spike, and it's returned by West Morris Central. Another spike, and it is blocked at the net, but West Morris gets right back into it. They weren't even phased at all by that block, and another block. Well, it looks like we're seeing some beach volleyball type yeah, plays this here. Is crazy Alicia today. Rodick with the spike. Return. West Morris goes for the play. A diving stop. Oh, and Valley wow. was not ready for that. A hard-earned point there for West Morris Central, Will. Yeah, that was a tough one. You know, Matt, I keep hearing you say the name Alicia Rodick. She has had some amazing spikes this game so far. But none of them have gone through, sadly. I mean, West Morris Central just seems to always be right there to make the dig. That's true, Will. Number 13 for West Morris is going to be set and then bumped. Lightly returned over the net. West Morris should be set up nicely. They go for the spike. Little spike. Can't really do much with it. The set, the spike, blocked at the net, and the dive by West Morris Central couldn't do anything about it. Uh, that it block ended up hurting them. Wow, beautiful play by the Indians. That's going to bring it 9-5 to five for Valley. Molly McEntee will come out for the Indians as Bella Tejero checks in for them. Need to serve here. 9-5 to five Indians, as you mentioned, Will. Bella Tejero with the serve, and it is a good one. Going to push West Morris Central back deep, but a nice bump right there. Spike by West Morris. They saw the opening right into the, there was nobody there for Valley and beautiful, beautiful play for West Morris. There. Couldn't agree That's more well. It seemed point. like Valley was too close to the net. West Morris Central took advantage, got the point. Maybe they can swing the momentum back on their favor. Yeah, there's a chance they've had some great plays. We'll see, we'll see where it goes, you know. Number three taking her time for West Morris Central. She's gonna serve it. Oh. Oh, wow. and that ball fell. Wow. Bella Tejero tried for the shoestring dive yeah, right there, Will. That was not successful. That was a great play by number three for West Morris. You know, she saw no one there. They were not expecting the short ball, and that got her the point. Amazing play. A beautiful play. ace right yeah. there. Number three is going to – and that ball goes long. That That's ball was out. definitely long. That's tough after you just get an ace. She tried to do too much. Should have just set it back on the other side. And Valley, let's see if they can take advantage of this newfound opportunity. Yeah, for sure. Good serve right there. Westmore Central. It's going to spike it. Goes down to her knees, but does a nice bump. And then a set. The spike going back, and that ball went far. Oh, it's going to be a out. point for Central. Well, this is a ping pong type match yeah, right we, here. Yeah, we well. see both teams with incredible plays. It seems West Morris has been coming back. Valley took the early lead, but now it brings it to 10 8. So close game for both teams. But West Morris Central definitely has some momentum right now.
What a game, Will. We're still early on on it, and it just looks like it's going to be another one of those classics. Oh, yeah. Definitely. This Good is bump right there by Valley. They're going to go with a little. What a hit there, Will. What did you see beautiful. on that play? That was beautiful. I mean, Valley just perfectly placed that over the net, right under the floor of West Morris' side. Beautiful Great job play. by number 22 oh, there for is, Valley. I, I must say, this is the best girls volleyball game I've ever seen. That brings me back to my Wee Beach volleyball days, Will. Oh, yeah. Some of these plays that I've seen so the far. The best days. You, you thought say. only video game people could do it. <laughs> Clearly more than them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice serve there by Valley. It's going to be bumped and then set. And the spike. And it is denied at the net. Although the point will go to West Morris yes, Central. because Valley did hit that ball out. And, you know, West Morris made the smart play. They did not hit it, obviously, for good reason. That's going to take them all the way up to nine points. 11-9 here. Score is very close. Yeah, at the net for Valley, Will, we see number 17 and number 22. You see junior Juliana Ladner and senior Brianna Neary. Those are the two big people that stay up at the net and are able to hit the ball over the other side because they're the tallest for Wayne Valley. Yeah, they've it's, had some great blocks so far this game, but you know they're, they're doing a great job and they're keeping that lead here. Expect them to do more of the same here. Nice serve there for Valley. Is Westmore Central just going to have to bump it over as they did not have a great hit right there. Valley's set up nicely, however, with the fake spike and then oh. Molly McAtee delivers the killer blow. The see, ball is already down. Matt, we see both teams here finding these perfect openings. It seems like both teams, you know, they keep leaving these spots open, and the other team, they just have really good eyes, and they're, they're seeing this opportunity to capitalize. They just keep doing it back and forth here. Yeah, well, what it seems like right now is that they're doing a great job of not hitting it as hard as they can, but finding the openings that they need. Yeah, they're, they're playing a precision game here for both teams, and that last point went to West Mars, or went to Wayne Valley, pardon me, after uh, number one for West Mars, hit it into the net, ball went on the ground. West Morris takes their first time out here. It's gonna, the score is currently 14-9 Wayne Valley. So with a pretty commanding lead here, you know, they had the lead off the start, but you know, West Morris has taken it back a little bit. They will get a minute right here to strategize, get a drink, and recoup as so far. It is a close game, but it's been in Wayne Valley's favor, Will. What yeah. have you seen early on? They've been able to keep the lead here, you know, very close. West Morris has been able to put on that pressure. And, uh, you know, both teams we see making some amazing plays here. You know, finding those openings on the other team's defense and just, just getting those points. But, you know, we see a little bit more precision out of Wayne Valley here, and they're just doing a phenomenal job here. Yeah, we'll have to see what West Morris Central can do as we've seen pretty good communication so far out of both sides. Expect to see more of that. And look for Westmore Central to try and capitalize on some of their opportunities. They've been close right now. They've been just gotten a little bit unlucky so far. That's what I've seen, Will. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just tough competition right now. Valley with their 12-2 and record this year, they are just so skilled. And, I mean, West Mars, they're clearly a very good team, but it's just, it's, it's a tough game. And the ball's back in play as Wayne Valley's going to serve it. Spike there for Westmore Central. The ball goes far. Valley gets the point. Not what Westmore Central was looking at at the break, Will. No, no, not at all. I mean, we're, we're seeing them just hit it a little too hard here, and that's not going to help. Great communication right now at a Valley. The set is going to have to go down her knees for Westmore to return that. The ball is going to be blocked by Molly McAtee at the net, but unfortunately it does go out of bounds, and that will go to Westmore Central with that yeah. point. We'll look to see if this change of service will give them some more momentum. Yeah, definitely. We see some amazing blocks here for both teams, but sadly some of Valleys have gone out of bounds, and that's going to give them up a few points. Here we see West Mars with the serve, goes over to Valley, the bump with the set, and the spike right into West Mars' side, but they save it. West Mars hitting it right back over, the little finesse play. Oh, and Valley's able to save it with Brianna Neary. They hit it right back over, number one from West Mars, bumps it up. Here Blocked at the Valley net. Great block here. This is just going back and forth so far during this point. Neary with a great spike. Oh, and that goes on the ground. What number a job one, there, by Diving for it. She was not able to make it there in time. That's going to be a point for Wayne Valley. Beautiful play by Brianna Neary. Great job there by Valley in pulling the jump block strategy. They're just timing those jumps perfectly and blocking the oh, yeah. balls this at is, the net. This is some phenomenal play at the net here for Valley. Westmore Central has not found an answer yet. Let's see if they'll be able to. The serve from Valley goes over to Westmore's side. They're able to save it. Come People are laying out all over the place. I see bodies everywhere, Will. Yeah, a little bit scrambling here. See, going back to West Mars. They hit it over. Oh, and it goes up in the air. Set. Looking for a spike here for Valley. Oh, and it goes oh. over. Hits the net, and that's going to be a point for West Mars. A little bit of miscommunication there for Wayne Valley. That, yeah, it that didn't, seem like, didn't seem like yeah. a great bump right there for Valley. Forced no, uh, Junior Anna Bolinski to try and hit it from the back. She was unable to do that. You know, here we see the ball going back over to West Mars. Hits it to Valley. Great dig. 
see the set and a spike going over. Able to be saved here. And West Mars hits it back over. What a block! block. That from what a block Rodin. by senior Malisha Rhoda. Oh, and they block it again. But sadly, as we've seen a few times this game, that ball goes out of bounds. And that's going to give West Mars another point here. It seems like, Will, that Valley's going to live and die by their play at the net. They're going to go up for those blocks yeah. and try and hit them inbounds. They'll be okay for the times that they go out of bounds. Yeah, that's that's West Mars Central serves a beautiful set right there at the floor. Oh, and they're going to give the point to West North Central. Not exactly sure what the call was there by the refs. Yeah, the ball might have hit the ground early. I'm not sure what happened there. But either way, that brings the score to 16-13 Indians. Now, remember, these games are played to 25. So, Valley only needing nine more points to finish this one out. West North Central with the serve. Beautiful set right there. It's going to be bumped again, and it's going to have to be go from the back. West North Central coming up. They're spiking. Oh, denied at the net. Alicia Rodick's going to set it back. Amanda Gallenkamp to the setter. She's just going to lob it over the net. Here comes the play. Stun nine at the net, wow. Will. What a job right there. The Beautiful. set up and the oh, nine again. Oh, oh, they got one more God. chance to get it over, and they do get it over. Good job by Westmore Central to recover after yeah, that. That was a beautiful the setter's recovery. Going to bump it up. That is going to be a nice little spike over. Here comes Westmore Central. They're going to lob it over the two big people at the net. Molly Mackey with a beautiful hit. This is a, one of those long volleys that we tend to see Wayne Val go in Wayne Valley's favor. And, oh, oh, Westmore Central, though, guy! Oh, wow! And that, that is going to point, is going to go to Wayne Valley. What a play here. there at the yeah, end, Yeah, well. wow. We, we saw, what, three blocks from Wayne Valley at the net that volley? That was incredible. We've talked about it all day, Will. They will live and they will die by that play at the net. Yeah, that, that was a play where they're living by, you know what I mean? Nice long volley right there. Yeah. It's just what you love to see. Game, you yeah. love to see good volleyball, Will, and that was good volleyball. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful oh serve, God. and it seems like it wow. might have gone off the hands right there yeah, of the person for like West Mars. Yeah, it looked of number two of West Mars. Hit the ground. They just weren't ready for that. I mean, clearly a mistake there. That's unfortunate. Unlucky. Hopefully, Valley will be able to capitalize on it. Yes. The serve is up, and it's going to be bumped up by West Mars, who then sets it. Going for a spike. Oh, oh good job right wow. there by number one for Valley. Beautiful. The setter's gonna have to spike it from all the way back. Alicia Rodick just gonna oh. dump it over, and Westmore Central was not ready for that. They well, try to kick it up, but you know, that, that's not how it works. So. Nice Malisha. little trickery right there brought out yeah. by senior number two, Malicia Rodick. We've seen so many great plays out of Rodick this game. Doing an incredible job at the net here and with those great digs. Here comes the serve for Valley. It is a good one. Wes Morris is going to set it up to themselves. Nice shot there by Valley just to return the spike. Another oh. spike. Oh, not what Molly McAfee was looking for. She spikes the ball into the net. No. Went a little low with that one, yeah, though. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, what are you going to do? Right into the net. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. And we'll see the serve going back over to West Morris right now. Number 13 for West Morris is going to serve it. It is a low serve, but good job right there by Molly Mackey to hit it. Malisha wrote it going for the spike. She does spike it. Nice dig right there for West Morris. They're going to spike it. Another the ball is the denied at the net. Valley ends up recouping, though, and gets it over. Not a great hit, but they hit it nonetheless. Little spike right there. Valley coming back right at the net. Oh, and that oh, is we no call yet. That's going to go Wayne Valley's oh. way with that point. I think that the call might have been that the girl from West Norris was touching the net while touching the ball. Yeah, definitely. I think that's what it was. A little bit of an error on their part there. To me, it looked like a double touch by a number one for Wayne Valley, but I mean, the refs... Be happy to call went our that. way, Will. Yes, yeah. Number eight, Bella Tejera will come in and serve it for the Indians. The setter's going to bump it up, then set. Here comes the spike. A little bit of a lob spike. Bella Tejera with a good job to react to that. Spike coming back for Valley. West Morris Central handles it well. They are denied at the net, Will. Looks like that spike went right into the post of the net, and I mean, that just went right back at her. Looks like they got Shaq standing right there, Will, for the Wayne Valley, and it's as he is saying, no, 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 to yeah. Kemby Matumbo wagging that finger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Saying no. Yep. The Indians just creating great defense at the net here. Beautiful. Bella Tejero will spike it over for Valley. Westmore Central is forced to back up on their heels a little bit. They're not going to get a great spike off. And it looked like uh, from the get-go that was not a good play for Westmore yeah, Central. That, well, what'd you is, say? That is yet another point for Wayne Valley here. And that brings the score 22-14. to 14. This looks like the Indians game so far. So, I mean, they only need three more points to finish this one out. They've been on a little bit of a run here. Well, we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, good West job by the center to get down low and get that. Valley tries to block it. They're unable to. They're forced to recoup a little bit, go to the back. Blinsky does get a nice serve off. Good spike right there. And Valley 
Making some oh. diving plays, unable to capitalize dive, on it. But it wasn't close enough. Beautiful effort there by Wayne Valley. Yeah, you'll love to see people laying yeah. out and showing all. This is just a great volleyball game, Matt. Love great volleyball it. match, Will. Number three for Westmore Essential is going to serve it. Valley shouting that the ball is up, and it is. Beautiful bump at the set. The spike denied at the net by Westmore Essential. Good job. We haven't seen him do that too much. The bump, the spike. Valley returns it. They've got themselves set up perfectly. A little far from the net, I'm sure, than what they've wanted. But it looks like Westmore Essential is coming back. They go for the dive. They're oh. not able. What a play there by Bella Terra to, to lay out. Anna Balinski. Oh, the setter for Westmore Essential getting involved in the action, too. I try to block it. They're going to be able to bump and set, and what a what a volley we got going on here, Will. Plays incredible. all over the place. Yeah, a couple of bumps, and Westmore Essential is going to get it over the net. Tipped off Valley's hands. They set it twice, and she's going to have to hit it over from a little far back. Westmore Essential is able to handle that. They're going for the spike. They, what a job by the setter there, falling out of bounds. Bella Tejero is going to bump it up to Anna Balinci, who is not able. She was going for the kill right there. She was not able to, to make the play. You to see it. Now, Matt, that volley, we just saw a great positioning by both teams. It seems wherever they hit it, there was always someone there. So, I mean, great volley there. Beautiful plays there. Some both nice teams saves. must be coached great as they are making diving plays. They're able to make adjustments on the fly, and that's what you love to see here. Yeah, well, the, the agility is great here. Number three is going to serve it for Westmore Essential. Set and then bumped and then set. Spike is going to be hit by someone at the net. They're going to set it. They're going to have nice positioning for this spike, oh, and that is denied. Block. But Westmore wow. Central is able to recover. They're going to have to try and go with a little tap to get it over the Valley. Wow. What a job there, Will. What a play. What I saw right there was that Valley went up high to try and block it. Westmore Central lobbed it in over their yeah. heads, and Valley tried to make a dive at the end, was not able to recover. Westmore Team Central is going on a bit of a run here. They've gotten three points in a row. You know, I said before this looked like it was Valley's match, but it's not looking like that. Central right serves now. it, and Valley's going to return it. Alicia Rodick with the oh. spike, and it was in. What an incredible spike. Wayne Valley gets the point. Right on the line. Beautiful play by Alicia Rodick. She's like the MVP of the, this game so far. Great spike line. right there, and that is exactly what Jason Karsich, the coach for Wayne Valley, loves to see. Yes, Karsich loves these sort of plays. You know, we talked to him before the game. You know, he loves to see these beautiful spikes here coming out of Valley. Served by Wayne Valley. Game. It's going to go a little short. Number 13 for Westmore. Central able to play it. They try and rob it. And wow. number 22, Junior for Wayne Valley, says no. Yeah. They tried to lob. Didn't, it didn't another work. denial right at the net. This is some incredible defense. And Valley has Valley. 24 points right here, Will. Yeah, one more to clinch this match. Good serve by Valley. Westmore Central is going to go for the spike. And that is it out. Was long. That is going to be the first match for Wayne Valley. And that this is the game, end of the first game here game as Wayne Valley will to Wayne take Valley. the game. Will, will what some, did you see in that first game? I mean, I just saw some incredible defense at the net for Wayne Valley. They had some great blocks there. And, I mean, just all around beautiful positioning, beautiful gameplay, and just beautiful volleyball, you know? I mean, we've seen the same out of West Mars, some great volleys coming out of the game here. And, I mean, this is just an incredible match to watch. That's going to, you know, the score here is one nothing Wayne Valley as we see the second game coming in here beautiful as they always beautiful. do as we always do here at volleyball the teams are going to switch sides and we will take a short break we'll be right back
Looks like a bit of debacle here between the refs and coach Jason Carsis. We're not sure what's going on right now. We'll resume momentarily. We'll be right back. Looks like whatever that situation was has been resolved as both teams have the standard six players. Westmore Central will start with the ball and as we are going to get going here in this second game. Ball is served by Westmore Central. Nice bump there by Valley. Number 17, 22 goes for the spike and it is denied at the net. Good job right there. Central goes for the spike. Way to go down to her knees there, Molly McAtee, to save that ball. Number 17, Brianna Neary. Going to send that ball over the net. Westmore Central in. Long. That's going to bring the point to Wayne Valley for this first point of the game. Could set the tone. We're not sure it was great volley there for both teams. Ball went a little long there for Westmore Central. Not what they had in mind. Wayne Valley will take the point and the ball. Number eight is going to serve for Wayne Valley at Junior Anna Belinsky. It is a nice serve. The setter is able to hit it. Bump. Oh, another great show of defense at the net for Wayne Valley. They block it, but... Once again, it goes out, and that's going to give West Mars Central the point here. Bring it one to one. They're going to run with that strategy all day. Well, we'll have to see if it's going to pan out for them. Like you said, Matt, could be great, could be bad. West Mars Central to serve it. It is bumped and then set. Going to be a little bit of a long spike there for the setter, and that ball is stopped at the net. She tried to get it over. I yeah. said it before, it was tried, a little long, did not to, work out for her. She tried to get it just over the net there, but a little too low, and, I mean, that's going to give them the point. It will be 2-1 to one Westmore Central as they are going to serve the ball. Oh, it looks like Valley had a little communication error there, but they're back on the same page. Molly McAtee gets it over the net. Number 7 is going to set it for Westmore Central, and it is lobbed back over the net. Good little bump right there. The set, the little... Wow. 
Another. She tried for the lob, it did not work. Yeah. Westmore Central seems to be coming out strong after the break. Yeah, I mean, we, that was two mistakes in the net for Valley there. I mean, both of them hit the net a little low. So the momentum shift right now is definitely back to Westmore Central. We'll see how this game plays out. Definitely interesting so far. Looked like we had a little communication error there. We'll have to monitor that one from Wayne Valley's yeah. side. Bump and then set. The ball's denied at the net, but what a nice bump right there back. It's going to have to be a long spike there. Good job by number 21 for the Indians. Is set and then bumped, and they're just going to have to bump it over the net. Dally's set up right now. They're going for the sp Oh, she goes for the lob. What a job there by Molly McAtee to confuse Westmore Central, but they were ready for it. She lets it go. That's gonna be another it was in. You know, Matt, wow. what I'm seeing so far in this game, it seems like West Mars has taken a little bit of a page out of Wayne Valley's book. We see this defense at the net that Valley's been showing the whole game. I mean, West Mars has had a few blocks here. But they, they seem are, to understand that defense, position, and they seem to be trying to go long more. They're not going for as many spikes now. They're going for more lobs, trying to get it past that strong front for Valley. They're playing uh, smarter, not harder. Not 15 mile Nakti goes for the spike. It is denied there, just like Will said, by that strong uh, West Mars center. Oh, denied at the wow. net, and that point Another goes to point. Valley. We see some crazy blocks by both teams here. Incredible. Good job there by Valley. Looks like Malisha Rodick will. Swap as they get in. the ball back and they're gonna hope to get the, as they get the serve back and they are ho gonna hope right now to get the momentum back on their side. As number 21, the setter will serve for Valley. It is a good serve right there. She serves it to the other setter. Funny how those two find each other a lot. Well, the ball is spiked, bumped back. The set, Molly Magdy going for the spike. She's gonna lob it. Good job there by Westmore Central to react and not be alarmed. She goes for the diving play and they're not able to make anything of it. it, it what a, an effort there by number 21 for Wayne Valley. Number 21, but you know, couldn't make it in time. We've seen a few of these plays this game, but you know, it, it happens. It, it, that was a great play by Westmore Central. Beautiful. Will, it seems like Westmore Central is coming out strong yeah, right now. They, they got the momentum. That, that break was great. They got the momentum back, and they are killing this second game so far. They t whatever they talked about seems to have worked. That's going to be a bump, and they're going to have to hit it from the back, Valley does. Number 12 does a nice job of bumping the set. Here goes the spike, and it is a hard wow. one. You can hear that from here, Will, and oh that just gets God. you excited. Number three yeah, for yeah. Westmore Central with this, this probably the, here. the These biggest spikes. spike I've heard all day, yeah. and you could hear that from here. That, that was the loudest spike I've ever heard in my history of watching girls volleyball. Wow, Incredible well. Incredible Wayne Valley's going to have to make some kind of a response to this soon as what they've been doing has just not worked so far. Coach Jason Karsic might want to consider a timeout to get his troops back. Number 12 with the serve. Wayne Valley's going to bump it. The set. They're going to have to go with a little bit of a long spike as they do get it over the net and Westmore Central is set up right now. A spike. Valley tries to block yeah. it and that's another point well, for Westmore Central. Matt, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, Coach Karsic here for the Indians might need to call a timeout. You know, get the get the team back together, regroup. You know, make sure they're they're in the right mindset here for this second game because I mean, the West Mars Central is just coming out so strong here. Yeah, their lead seven to two right now. <laughs> Number twelve is going to serve for them, and the refs going to give the point to Valley. She came too far. Well, did not yeah. stay behind the end line. That point's going to go to Valley, and those it's, are just killer little, points to those lose. Those little mistakes, you know, they could really get to you. And, you know, one point could really matter in a game like this. Number 17 and number 11, both seniors will check out for Valley. And number one will serve for the Indians as Westmore Central waits to receive the serve. It's going to be a little bit of a low serve. Nice little bump right there. The spike denied. Wow. Good job there by Valley. Number Other one is going to bump it up. Head. Number three, is, oh, diving play right there by the setter for Valley. Here comes Molly McAtee with the spike. It's going to be stopped by number two for the... Then number seven hits it back. 21 with a nice little bump right there. The set back up. Molly Maxey's not going to get as close to the net as she would like. Good job by number seven. Number one. Number three. She had that beautiful big spike before. She goes with a little lob right here. Returned by Valley. Number 21's going to decide to hit it over the net without spiking it. They get the Indians. Oh, the and block. Valley will deny it at the net and get the point. Another beautiful block for the Indians here. That's going to get them another point. The score is now 7-4 West Mars here. So definitely, they have a little bit of a lead this game. But Wayne Valley seems to be taking it back so far. They had to regroup. You feel the, the shift in the wind, Will. It seems like oh, yeah. Valley's starting to get some of that mojo yes. back. The wind in the auditorium, definitely. Or the gym. <laughs> Number two. Definitely. It's going to bump it up. Number seven with the set. Number three goes for the wow. spike. She gets a little lucky as it hit off some Valley defender's hands. That point's going to go to West and Mars. That's, that's they another, will also be getting the ball back. That's another thing with the blocking strategy. If the ball goes a little high, it could bounce off the hands. I mean, that, that's going to be a risky play here. Set right there. Number 21 decides to let it go, and that ball is out. Great job there for Valley. 
<laughs> Good job there by Valley. Great job by the setter, number 21, to let that ball go. She knew where she was on the court. She knew it would go out. We'll have to see how number six, Bella Tejero, does. She's going to put a nice little serve on. Number 13, number three with the hard spike before, denied at the net. Laying Woo! out effort by Melisha Rodick. They're going to have to bump it over from the behind the side. They're great job there, number one. He's going to bump it up. The spike by number three. She hits it hard again, but it's denied by Valley. Number one. Here comes number 14. Oh, that ball is just No signal out on the Oh, side. and that point is going to go to point. Westmore Essential. Oh, yeah. now, Good job there by number 14. She might not have gotten a point, but nice little hit yeah. right there. Matt, number three has had some hard spikes, though, yeah. for Westmore Essential. I don't know about you, Matt, but I can't imagine playing volleyball and blocking these spikes. That's got to hurt the hands, you know? Will, the ball is coming fast, but their reaction time is faster. That's oh, what yeah. you got to think of. Definitely. They have been trained for this. Number one is going to set it up. The spike by Melisha Rodick. Wow, just it looks out. far. It is far. Just out. Right idea, though, trying to find that back target, make it harder. Number three has been all over, though, for Westmore Essential. She's got a couple of nice serves, and she's been spiking it hard, Will. She's trying to get past that big front for Wayne Valley. Oh, yeah. West Morris has this sort of power in the second game here. They're really using it to their advantage. Bella Tejero lays out to bump that one. It's going to be lobbed over over the net. Oh, oh, and Westmore Central has a problem with communication. Number 13 and number two both went for the ball, both backed up, and the ball lands in between them. Yeah. Exactly what number eight Anna Balinski had in mind when she lobbed that ball over the net. Yeah, beautiful play for Valley. Bringing the serve back to them, it looks like Melisha Rodick will serve it here. 10 to 6 right now as Valley's been making a little bit of a comeback, but still down. Misha Rodick serves it. Number one with a nice little bump there for Westmore Central. 13 with the set, two with the spike. Bella Tejero gets down low and is able to stop that one. Number eight goes for the spike for Valley. It is going to be bumped by number three. The set, the spike looked a little long. Misha Rodick decides to hit it. The set and the bump. Number eight goes for the play. A diving play, and that ball gets over oh. the net. Good job by Westmore Central. It goes far. Number one is able to bump it back up. Number 13 with the set. The spike by number two. Oh, and Melissa Rodick tripped right there. Well, wow. I saw plays from both this, teams on that. These precision plays for both teams are incredible. Both are just able to get it a little bit over the net, and the other team just can't expect this sort of precision and power combined from They're both teams. out, and they're giving everything that they have right now. Well, it's great this volleyball is, to see. This is some incredible gameplay here from number both one, the sides. Serves it for West Morris Central. Bumped by number six. It's going to then be spiked into no man's land. What a job there by number Yeah, two. I mean, no, the Indians just saw there was nobody there for West Mars. They took that opportunity and scored the easy point there. That brings it to 11 to 7 for West Mars Central. I'll get after. He'll do it. Number 11, the lefty with the serve. It's going to be. Laid out, bumped by number three, but it went right into the net. Another great play there by the Indians. <laughs> Lefty number 11 is going to serve it again for Valley. It's bumped up by number three. Another bump in the back. They're going to number three gets the ball over. Setter's going to bump it up. Number 11. Here comes a spike by number 22, oh and that ball finds net. Number that 13 was... had no choice, and just as you were talking about, Will, that ball came so hard she could do nothing there but try and guess where it was going. She guessed raw. That'll be a point for Wayne Valley as they've cut the lead to only two for Westmore Central. Matt, that was one of the most incredible spikes I've ever seen. Went right over the head of West Mars. Beautiful play. Another serve right there. It's going to be bumped and then set. Number two goes with a little lob. Good job there by number 17, Brianna Oh, Geary. wow. The ball just hit the net. Valley was not, not expecting, it, it looks like senior Brianna Neary was not expecting the ball to just barely hit the top of the net there. Bounce back, bad bounce for them, and that's going to give a point to West Morris. She did a great job, though, to try and stop that ball at the net. Yeah, good Look effort. More of that. That ball is going to be served right into the net, and that is just killer for West Morris. You can't be giving away a point like just like that. No, it's it's those sort of mistakes that are, you know, going to lose them some points here, which can be detrimental as Valley is winning 1-0 for the match here. you got to keep that in mind. They are keeping this game as close as they can. Number eight, Anna Belinsky going to serve for the Indians. She serves it into no man's land, though. Nice little bump right there. Number 12 goes for the spike. 21 decides to leave it. The ball looked in and was in, ruled by the ref, yeah. and it will be a point Just for West Morris Central. Beautiful play. I mean, I keep saying that so much. I feel like I'm saying the word beautiful too many times, but, I mean, it's just incredible. Great gameplay from both sides. Good job there by the Indians. Number two will serve for West Morris Central. Yeah, 
15 with the set, another set, the spike by number 22. Oh. And she said no. The defense tried to stop it, and she slammed that down with authority. Great job no, right there by the that Indians. That was a great block, but it, it looked like it got caught in between West Mars' arms and the net, and it just fell to the ground. They were not prepared for that. That's pure power, Will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice serve right there. It's going to be bumped. Another bump. We're going to go for the spike right here, number three. Wow, well, what can you say? She's been I mean, in this court. Yeah, number 21 from Valley went for a rolling dive there, but just not able to get there in time. Beautiful spike by Wes Mars. You know, this is just the kind of uh, gameplay. They've been coming out here with the second game, and, I mean, it shows, and they are winning here 14 to 11. Number 12 going to take her time, wait for the crowd to quiet down. <laughs> She's going to serve the ball. Good job there by number 15, Molly McAtee. Malisha Rodick goes for the spike. Saved. Nice dig right there for Westmore Central. It's going to be bump, set, spike. And that ball was just out. Just how just Valley tried to play. Barely it out. It was a great play by uh, the Indians there. But sadly, the spike was just out of bounds. That's going to bring the ball to Westmore's side of the court for the serve. Number 12 seems to like to take her time. She waits. The serve is a good one. It's going to be the bump, the set, the little lob. Laid out play by number three. She's given all her effort today for West Mars Central. She's going to, oh, with a bump. Great goes save. backwards. And Melissa Rodick bumps it over her head. Good job there Great by the Indians save by to get Valley this ball there. back on West Mars Central side. They go for the spike denied at the net. West Mars Central going to set it up again. Just going to be lobbed over the net. Good job there by number 17 for the Indians. A bump backwards. 21's going to have to hit it falling backwards. She does a great job doing that. Bump, bump. Little lob over the net. Molly McAtee does a great job to corral that one. Alicia wrote it going for the spike. She goes for oh, the lob. The deception what on that job play. right there, Will. Incredible job. You know, West Mars has expected the hard spike, as they've seen out of Rodick in the past. But but no, she fooled them. Just a little lob over the net just to get that point That's for Wayne Valley. That's what you would like to call a sheep's, a wolf in sheep's clothing right there, Will. Yes. Great job. That was an the incredible Indians. play. Number one is going to serve it for the Indians. Bump by number two, the set. Here comes a spike by number three. She's hard oh. spiked it all day, and she goes far, and that'll be a point for the Wayne Valley Indians, who once again will cut the lead by Westmore Central down to only two. Yes. As they are right there, they can feel it. They want to get this lead back. They don't want this going. This game has been set. neck and neck so far. We see the score 15 to 13, but who will win? Wow. Served and there for the Indians, but it went a little far. It's going to be the point for Westmore Central. Not what you were looking for right there. They would have loved to cut that lead down to one. Yeah. We'll have to see what number 13 can do here for the Westmore Central Wolfpack as he, she's going to serve it. She goes for the serve. Nice little bump. The set. And Blinsky going to spike it from a little further back. Good set right there. Nice dig. Little lob by number three. The set, here comes the spike. She gets denied at the net, she hits it right back up. Valley's gonna be set up beautifully. Oh, what a play right there. Oh, good job there by the Indians. Number 14, think that she was gonna set it up to her own team. She ended up hitting it over the net and a great, beautiful job right there. As yeah. Westmore Central could not recover. Yeah, that was, that was a great play there. I mean, I'm glad Valley got that point because we saw a little earlier on the team that was a double touch by uh, Westmore Central. No call, but glad to see that Valley ended up getting the point. Number six serves it for the Indians. It is then bumped twice by Westmore Central. They're going to have to bump it over the net. They do. Number 21 bumps it up. Here comes a spike. Rose on the oh! What a play, what Will! A play. What not can you say about that? Wow. That got the people going yes. here, Will. Nobody that expected ball. that sort of play. The ball just rolled so far it along the net. on the net, and no one knew what to do. No wow. one knew what to think. Westmore Central tried to dive at you the just, end. They couldn't do it. What a play there. You just can't practice for those situations. That and was Valley crazy. Valley has cut the lead to within one as they can feel it. Number three goes for the spike for Westmore Central. Good job returning it by there by the Indians. 14 goes with a little lob. She lays out. What a play wow. there by number one. Incredible. Is that going to be bumped over the net? Valley's getting ready. Here comes a spike. No, it's going to be a little lob. Number three sets it back. 13. Here comes a spike for Westmore Central. Another way out. Another oh way out. Oh, my God. It goes down. No one could get it. Woo. As we have seen two beautiful plays this in is a row right here. Matt, I mean, I said it before. This is the best game I've ever seen in girls volleyball, but I really mean it now. This is absolutely incredible to watch. Perfect game to be filming today for Wayne Valley Sports here.
What a job. Number three is going to serve it for Westmore Central. It's going to be bumped and then set. Here comes a spike by Melisha Rodic. She's denied at the oh. net. Oh. And Westmore Central can't do anything about it. It hits off their hands. It falls down. They try to do something about it. They couldn't. And Wayne Valley once again is within one point from tying this yeah, game. Yeah, this is incredible. Another ball played off the net by the Indians. And this is incredible. 17-16 here for Westmore Central. Melisha Rodic is going to serve it. It's going to be set right there. And then the set. Good bump right there for Valley. Another bump. We're going to have to hit it from a little further back. Anna Blinsky has been doing that all day, though, so she's trained for it. Number 13 with the bump. Little hit right there, trying to get into no man's hand. Alicia Rodick dives. 22 goes for the hard spike. Whoa. Number one is going to get a nice dig on that. Here comes the spike. Good oh, line. right off the net. Wayne Valley ties it. That's going to tie it What a job up, there by Wayne Valley. In wow. Defense. They are strong up front. They denied the spike, and we have ourselves a tie ball game. That was just an incredible volley. You love to see it, man. That's going to bring it 17 17. Tie, tie game. Would have never expected it off the rough start for the Indians, but this is incredible. Alicia Rodick serves it. Number one is going to set that ball up. Here comes the set. The spike by number two denied. Oh, the beautiful play around Will. And you can see the fans love to see that one as wow. they are starting to cheer a little bit another, here, Will. Matt, another incredible block off the net by the Indians. West Marsh just did not expect it. You know, the Indians are playing mind games with them right now. This is incredible. Absolutely Wayne Valley has their first see. lead of the second game. Good serve there by Melissa Rodick. He's going to be bumping and set. Here comes a little lob. Oh, now it's a hero. Wow. He's out. And she's oh, she up all over. She's not. Oh, she gets it back on the wow. Oh, my God, Will. Number 13 with the Holy. set. Here comes Westmore. Central denied again. Oh. oh, but they're still playing. They're still playing, Will. They are still playing. Oh, what is this volley, man? <laughs> Ivor eight serves it. Two bumps. That ball is going over the net. It's denied by both sides. They're laying out. Oh, my God, Will. My voice is gone, and I don't even care. They died. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, Matt. You need a drink of water right now. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Both sides, incredible saves here. We were expecting the, to be a stoppage in play with a point here, like about three times this play. But I mean, both teams able to keep it up. Incredible what a volley there, Will, as the voice is starting to come back. I've never seen anything like it in all my years Good of announcing. There. Number 22 goes for the spike like tonight at the net. It's going to be hit then by Westmore Central. Here comes number two looking for a spike. She's going to lob it up. And Blinsky does a great job to bump the set. The spike by number 14. And Westmore Central is able to do a great job corralling that. Here comes another spike. Oh, a dive what there a by number save. 21. Another bump. She's going to hit it back over the net. Great recovery right there. Number 13 with <laughs> the set. The spike. Oh, it's hit. Oh, she dives! Oh, back. oh another bump! Another bump! <laughs> she spikes it! It's a bump, a set. Look for that big spike by number eight. It's denied by Westmore Central. They're gonna go again. Here comes the spike by number 22. Oh, oh, what, a oh, what, a oh. <laughs> what an incredible oh, volley, God, that! Will. Wow, I've never what seen this. Right there. Back to back, incredible volleys in my, all my years of announcing girls volleyball. I have never seen anything Westmore like it. Central denied <laughs> the first one. Number 22 came in for Valley. They tried to deny it again, and that ball went out. What a job there by the Wayne Valley Indians. This is absolutely incredible. You love to see it. Valley has the one point lead, 19 to 18 here. The serve there by number 11. It's going to be bumped. Hits off the net. Westmore Central Whoa. not able to do anything with it. Sloppy play right there after a couple of beautiful ones. Another point for the Indians. This game is neck and neck. Looks like there's going to be a timeout here called for Westmar Central. Score is 20 to 18. You know, we see Wayne Valley here just needing five more points to close out this match. But very close game, you know. Well, what have you seen in the second game so far? Uh, Matt, besides high action. I've just seen absolutely incredible volleyball. You know, I don't know how to describe it. Both teams have been playing amazingly. You know, incredible saves. We, we saw Wes Mars coming out with the early lead, but, you know, Wayne Valley took it right back after, after some quite some time. But, I mean... You know, incredible volleys here, and you <coughs> the know, fans Wayne Valley. were quiet early on, Will, but they're allowed now. Oh yeah, definitely. They love what they're seeing right now. Yeah, this is something to behold for sure. And Valley just able to, uh, you know, sneak the lead back to their side. We're gonna see them coming out here. They've got some crazy momentum, and I mean. You, you know, we're going to have to see if uh, West Mars Central is able to uh, counter this because their energy right now is unparalleled for Wayne Valley. The only person that can parallel their energy is me up here as I'm trying to make <laughs> this game go crazy. Yeah, Matt's nice voice little is serve there dead. by number 11, a bump and then a set. Here comes a little lob by number two, diving play there by the Wayne Valley Indians. They're going to bump it again. They're going to have to hit it from far back in their own territory, but they do. Number three with a nice bump there. 
Nice little set. Here comes number two for Westmore. Oh, that ball went long. And a point goes to Wayne Valley Indian. Well, I'm down one bottle of shots. They're almost down a half a bottle of water here, but I don't care. This is sort of great That's, game though. Matt is not going to have any voice for the next couple months after this match here. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Number 11 with the serve. It's going to be hit by number three, then by number 13. Here comes a spike. Denied the, the block. net. Wing. Westmore Central does a great job to bump it back up. They're going to bump it over the net. What a job there by Westmore Central to recover. Number 11 with the set. 22 oh. goes for the spike. And you can't do anything but 22 goes for no. the spike. As I said, Matt, coming out of this timeout, Wing Valley has some crazy energy right now. You know, Westmore just can't do anything about it. We this had a is... crazy set of points between 16 16 to 18 18. Those were yeah. some crazy points. But it looks like Wayne Valley might be trying to pull away and take this thing. This number is 13. Incredible. Into the net. Uh, off Double the hit by Westmore Central. Sloppy gameplay here for the and Will, for the Wolf Pack. It's starting to look a little grim for the yeah. Wolf Pack. The, as they led for most of the second game, but Wayne Valley was able to storm back. You know, a couple Wayne, of beautiful points went their way, and they're two points away right now from winning this second game and winning this match. The set, double set, they're gonna have to bump it over the net. The ball might go far. Oh, it might that go is far. out of bounds. And Wayne Valley is match point right now, Will. That is one point incredible. Away. I'm taking Wayne, the match. Wayne Valley, they cannot be stopped right now. They're like a freight train plowing through West Morris Central. West Morris Central just has no answer as this game was so close. It's now six point difference. <laughs> they let it go. And, and that, that is, is going to be a ball game. What Wayne an incredible Valley way to close we'll out the, the game. Win. Wow, what an incredible way to close out the game, Matt. We see Valley on the serve. Absolutely incredible gameplay. That's going to bring us two nothing Indians. Matt, what are your thoughts on this game? What a job there by Wayne. Valley well they were down for so much of that second game they ended up doing a great job to come back some beautiful points went their way and I've just never seen volleyball like that well this was exhilarating for me my voice might be gone but what a game for the Wayne yes, Valley Indians. absolutely incredible great game to tune into here on V Sports and this is going to be Will Michaels and I'm Matt Crafting signing off thank you